So, with the centenary of Armistice Day coming up soon, I couldn't think of a nicer way to commemorate making some poppy stones. And I'd absolutely love to share these stones with all of you. Because they have a really simple, effective design, which is actually not difficult to reproduce at all. So I found this, I thought I'd share it with you so you can see I'm just kind of doing some splodgy shapes. Nature isn't symmetrical, it's not perfect. So you don't need to be over precise. A little bit of freehand, you see I'm not even drawing it on first, I'm just filling up the stone with some, well can't quite call them poppies yet because they don't look like poppies yet, but they will. Have no fear. So I think this is, that's probably enough. See I've got quite a lot of bumps on this stone, I'll just work around it. One of the lovely things about working with natural materials like stone. It has its uniqueness. And we all like to be a little bit unique. Well, I'd like to be a little bit unique. So there we go. As you can see, they are fairly splodgy shapes. <clears throat> going to pop in just some stalks and see I'm using Posca pens just happen to be my choice for for projects of this style where you need to have some really fine lines see shaping up really nicely okay well, next off I'm just going to use this fine paint pen again there we go just to outline those splodgy shapes and very soon You'll see them really taking on the shape of the poppy that you know and love. Let's have a little patience. And you will be amazed at how simple these are. corner there. There we go. So you can see super precise there. And let me just pop that little bit of red there. It's a nice thing. It's if you make little errors and slips you can just fix it like that. Smashing. So these are now starting to look more like poppies. Next thing I'm going to do is just add a little bit of base to them here. This is where we start to put in some of the texture and these very fine black pens are super for that. You can see there. Okay. There we go. So 
So on this big one, which is the one we're full on facing, this is where what I'm going to do make perfect sense now. Yeah. Now we'll just pop some of those lines on there just to indicate petals into the little creases there and I'm going to just just do lots of little tiny dots here so you can still see a little of the red through just in a sort of an oval shape to be the center of the poppy there like I said don't overstress symmetry and things like that because we all know that things are different. So what I'm just doing now is drawing a little detail on some of these other shapes. So we've got the top of the flower there. Look at poppies have, and this is the inside. Poppies have these lovely leaves, uh, petals that unfurl, sing out to the world. They will wrap each other around and they're budding. There we go. Let's give that one a little more. We must have a small bit of a line there, maybe. There we go. I think we are almost there. It's really important to me this year to really celebrate the centenary of Armistice Day. It's one of my favourite bits. A few white dots there. It's a highlight. There we go. I'm going to just do a little more faffing here. Just a few of these little texture lines. There we go. That is my poppy for all season. 